Hello and welcome to the Ultimate Racing League, sponsored by upshiftstore.co.uk and digitalmotorsports.com. So this is it, race two of the BMW M3 Cup, coming to you from Dragon Tail Gardens. So let's go straight to the grid. So this is a reverse grid from uh, race one, so it's Pablo in pole position, Ice Chad in second, Vexman in third, Dan Bailey fourth, Molson fifth, Jerry in sixth, Chuck in seventh, Rodders in eighth, Paul in ninth, Too Fast For Use in tenth, Unforgiven eleventh, Thomas in twelfth, and Wadru in thirteenth. So as you know, if you're a regular viewer, uh, this is the race where there will be a pit stop required. Um, so as you can see, a lot of the, a lot of the uh, drivers are going with the mediums, and it's uh, the first thing. You've got to race mediums for at least 10 minutes uh, at any point of the uh, in the 30 minutes. So a lot of them are going for them straight away. Uh, you've got Chuck, who's, uh, who's sticking with the super soft, so, and, and Chand as well. Uh, so there's two racers who's going with the, the super soft, so uh, early doors. So let's see how, how they all fare as the race goes on. Let's get straight to the, uh, let's get straight to the start. So Pablo then will lead them off. Revs are up, should be off any second. Or maybe not. Here we go, we're off. Held them for a long time. Chand with a great start there, so Chand takes up the running then in, in the lead. Pablo got bogged down a little bit there off the off the lead there and the uh, off the pole position and Drop right back now into sixth place, so Chand flies off into the lead. So remember, Chand is one of the ones who's got the super softs on, of course, so there's no wonder that he has flown off like that, in all fairness. And then back here, we've got this melee of cars, all oh, Vex with a squiggle, all oh, Vex with a... Oh, he's off again, oh, unfortunately for Vex, I'm too sure what happened there. I don't know if he got tagged or, or what happened, but drops himself right away down to 13th. Horrible chicane again, getting so many people tonight, but... Yeah, I'm not sure he was sort of in the in the mix a little bit there. I don't think I think it was his own doing actually. I didn't really see, but unfortunate that. So let's get back to the f f front then. So Chan then pulling away as you would expect. Molson now in the second. So Molson got himself through the second, and then this little battle behind Chuck with Jerry. So Chuck's the other one with the super sauce, remember. So keep your eye on uh, Chan and Chuck as the race goes on, as the pits start, because they will have to come in with mediums at some point. So then, so Chuck now, chasing down Molson in second, Molson on mediums then. Dan up there in fifth, so Dan's chasing down Jerry, who's in fourth. And too fast for use then, having a look at Dan, not quite, oh, and Pablo up the inside, but that was just nudged too fast for use out a little bit, then it all gets a little bit messy in there, a little bit close. Pablo pulls out to the left, pulls there in ninth. With Thomas right behind him in tenth, and Wadru. Not forgiven in 11th and 12th, so Thomas now having a look up the inside. And Pablo, can he get there? He does. So Pablo just dropping back now. So Wadru goes past him as well, so just the unforgiven to get past now, who's back in 12th, but... Then he gets round the outside, there's uh, unforgiven, so gets himself to 11th then, Pablo in 12th, Vexman in 3rd. Oh, and who's that gone off? I think it's Paul actually, so Paul going off on the grass. So that's going to give Roger the opportunity to get past him. He does. Paul drops down to 10th, so mistake by Paul. Roger then goes up into 9th, outside of Paul, but Paul's not giving up. Keeps the inside line, but Roger will probably have him on the power out. He does. So Paul just slots in behind him in 10th. Thomas in front of Roger in 7th, chasing down Rodders in 6th. And then Dan in 5th. And this little battle with Jerry and Molson, the third and fourth, so Jerry really hounding Molson now. Chand and Chuck, the two super soft racers out in front in the top two. All this other lot fighting out the, the rest, all in the mediums. Jerry going around the outside of Molson, goes really wide to Jerry, it's the barrier, unfortunately. Jerry's having a bad time tonight on here. I'm sure it's his favourite track, if I'm honest, but. Uh, uh, the greatest of uh, times at the moment, so the unfortunate there. So Thomas then chasing down with Wadru on the outside of Thomas, or on the inside, I should say, coming almost down the pit lane. Wadru, Rodder's having a look, he's not going to get through this, both of them in the middle, is he? So look at this free car battle, great battle. is coming up into the chicane now, so Wadru then 
Just leading them at the moment in sixth. Thomas in seventh. Uh, Rod isn't too far behind. Nice and clean through there, I think. Yeah, it looks clean to me. Yeah, Roger with a good drive again. He's got Dan in his sights and he's going to get down, I think, by the time we get down to the bottom of this. The left hander, the slowest corner on the track. First, second gear corner of this. No, it doesn't get down. Six and six. And then this little battle here for Thomas. Still battling with Rodders, but he does remain in seventh, does Thomas. Bexman, uh, uh, too fast for you, sorry. He's, uh, he's not too far off this little duo. He's going to have a say in it too, I would, I would think, knowing uh, too fast for use. So Thomas then trying to chase down Wadru, he's going to try and stick with him wherever he goes. Dan goes wide and Wadru gets through. He does, so Wadru up to fifth now, so Wadru's slowly creeping his way up to the front. Winner of race one. Dan hasn't given up though, but uh, not going to get Wadru there. So wide sweeping line, cuts back into the apex of the corner. So over for another, another lap. Start lap four. So Thomas seventh, too fast for use. Then Rodders in ninth. Unforgiven in tenth. Paul back in in eleventh, chasing down. Unforgiven now. Can he get him down on the inside? He sure as a look for it. He did get him, I think. Now is Unforgiven going to fight back and get him down here on the chicane? He looks for the inside, so he, he is fighting back. Not quite far enough up. So Paul remains in tenth through the chicane. Yeah, all clean through there and all good through there. So I'm forgiven 11th, Pablo in 12th. And Vexman all the way back in 13th after his major off. But he's catching Pablo though in 13th place, so he's catching Pablo in 12th. So I'm forgiven then, still chasing down Paul. 10th. Our front is uh, still chanting our front. A superb start to Chan, got off the line, got past Pablo before they hit uh, turn one and this is where we stayed. So looking comfortable out there at the moment, Chan with Chuck in second, just getting rid of a small penalty I think as he's ghosting so he must have. So Chuck in second, so the two uh, super soft drivers are still out there in, in uh, the top two with Wadru now, not far behind though, so Wadru really chasing down these top two with Jerry following him through so Jerry he fancies a bit of this one tonight in fourth place yeah no he's, uh, he's not had the best of evenings Jerry's still looking pretty quick in there now so can he get through this next section which he's been struggling with it would seem Let's see if he gets through nice and clean this time he's going to try and stick with Wadra if he can horrible curves through there yeah nice and clean through there this time from Jerry so Jerry then, trying to chase down Wadru in third, with Thomas in fifth, trying to chase down Jerry. Old train of cars coming along here, Molson in sixth. Oh, and he's too fast for you, right up his jack seat. Too fast for you, having a look, does get there. Up in the inside, so good clean move from too fast for you. Molson's fighting back though on the inside. It's side by side, coming through this next left-right section. No, too fast for you, still got it. So still holds on to sixth, through Molson right behind him in seventh. On the grass, a little bit of Molson, and then behind him is Rodders. So Rodders is having a bit of the action too. So three cars here, sixth, seventh, eighth place. Rodders gone wide a little bit. I might give Paul behind him because Paul's coming on the back of these. It might give him a bit of a incentive to get up there with Dan, who's not too far behind him, too. So uh, great little battle here. Flash of the lights from Rodders. Trying to put him off, didn't put Molson off though, keeps a nice clean line through there, so yeah, nice and clean. There's the gaps there you can see in shot. So a whole big train of cars, lovely shot that was. So Rodder's there now, still chasing down Molson then. Paul now, not too far off the back either, so Paul's getting onto this little group. There he is. So he's in ninth. Chicane. Oh, he hits that quite hard. Did Rodders hit that curve hard? And there you go. Give Paul a chance now to get past. He does. 
just powers out, just Paul gets past him, little mistake from Rodders, so Paul's got got himself through to eight. As soon as you hit them curves, that's it, it's, it's almost game over. It certainly slows you down a lot, you hit them hard enough, and uh, it's exactly uh, what happened there. Rodders just uh, got it a bit wrong and Paul took advantage. So he's not giving up though, Rodders, look at this, fighting back straight away. Oh, Molson, I just see him going out on the dirt and now keeps it there, but this little battle still, Rodders is going to, Paul's got a little bit wide, Rodders is going to go to the inside, is he? Oh, not quite, just stuck his nose up there, but didn't quite get it there. Oh, and he's still there, neck and neck. What a great battle this is. As they come up to this left-hander. Paul's got, just got it still on Abe. Can he hold it there? Oh, Rod is going to go in for the, uh, the little switch back. Did try it, but Paul covered it. So Paul's still in. Abe. So he's chasing down Molson as well now. So Molson is... Uh, we made a small error through there and slowed his uh, momentum down a bit because Paul's right on the back of him with Rodders as well. So we've got two of these chasing down Molson. So a little free car battle now. Uh, Paul, will you have a look up the inside now of Molson? Thought about it, but not quite close enough. So amazing eighth. Molson goes wide again. Yeah, Paul gets it. Again, a great drive out there for Paul, gets him up the inside of Molson, gets himself up to seventh, so Molson back to eighth. Molson is just going to try and get back into the draft, and then maybe get him down here on this lowest corner. And Rod is going to have a say in it too. Yeah, he did have a look at Molson, but can Paul stop it? No, it goes a bit wide, and look at Rodders go through. Rodders, what a great move, goes up the inside of both of them. They ran a little bit wide, both of them, and Rod, Rodders thought, well, you know what? I'll have that little gap then, and that's exactly what he done, gets himself up to seventh. Great move. As we reach 10 minutes of the race, if you're a regular viewer, you'll know that it's about now that they'll be thinking about what they'll be doing with uh, pit stops and fuel, etc. And Rodgers goes wide, Paul gets him on the inside, Molson going to have a look as well. So Rodgers back to eighth, Molson's going to have a look now, Paul's got himself up in the seventh. Dan not far off the back of these either. So Rodgers, has he got up the inside of Molson, think he has, you know, he yeah, has a little nudge on Paul, but that's okay, it's quite clean, so that's no problem. He did slow down, let Paul have the place back, in fairness, so... Oh, and I think Paul's like right, they're all diving in now, so we've got several cars in. We've got four cars in there that I can see at the moment, so we've got Wadru, the leader, who's gone, sorry, he wasn't the leader, but... Uh, Wadru's gone in to change the, uh, the Super Softs, all these will be changing on Super Softs, as we're, what, 10, 11 minutes into the race. So, uh, let's see when it will come out. Watcher comes out in sixth. Too fast seventh. Unfor Givens in as well. Molson's in. Thomas is in. Pablo's in. Others are all in pretty much, apart from the two guys up front. So let's have a look up top. And Chan's still up there, but Chuck is definitely catching him. Chuck is, yeah, he's definitely getting onto the back of Chan now. With Jerry up into third. So Jerry obviously hasn't pitted either. He's got himself up into third place, courtesy of the. Uh, the stops in front of him. So let's just stick with it to see if Chuck can get himself on the back of Chand. He's almost there. I don't think these boys will be coming in yet for their change of mediums. But you never know. So Chand then remains out in front. No, so stays out, which I would have expected anyway, being on the Supers. So have a look back then, so Jerry now just coming down the final bend, so does he go in, does Jerry decide to come in now? He does, dives into the pits, does Jerry, so Jerry's having his stop now. But Dan's going to get him though, and Rodders dives in too, so Rodders has gone in too, so Dan's gone up into third place. So Dan, I don't think he's stopped either, he might have actually, I can't remember now, but Dan's got himself up to third now, so good job for Dan now. So it's Ice in first, Chuck in second, Dan in third. Wadru's up into fourth now. And of course, we know he stopped. So he's going to be looking to hunt down Dan and get himself, try and get himself onto the back of uh, Chand and Chuck. But of course, they haven't stopped yet, have they? So Wadju's in a good position again here to, uh, to maybe bag himself another win, maybe. We'll have to see, but in good position, nevertheless. Too fast for use also in fifth. So he's in a good position too. We'll see how this all plays out as we're. Uh, 
Come up to nearly halfway through the race, Thomas and Stick chasing down too fast for use. And we've got Paul in seventh, being hounded by Jerry now, so a little battle here again. So let's just see what happens here. Does Jerry get Paul? He's, he's going to have a look, gets himself on the inside. Nice, good drive from Jerry actually out there. Paul's a bit slow through there. Jerry's got good, good drive there, so he's right up the back of Paul. Let's just stick with this then. Can he give himself up into seventh place? Thinks about it as a look. No, just did think about it, but uh, wasn't far up there. So Paul remains in seventh. Through these tricky right-handers, it's one after the other, after the other, after the other, after the other, and by the time you've gone through about five or six of them, you start nearly falling asleep, but uh, it's, uh, it's not getting dizzy for all these right-handers, but no, it's a good little track, this. So anyway, Jerry's still trying to get through. Now, can he get himself onto the back of Paul's uh, and to his draft here? If he's close enough yet. No, not quite. So then we've got Unforgiven then trying to chase these down with Molson and, and Rodders here. So 8th, 9th, 10th. Molson really chasing down Unforgiven. Can he get himself up now into at the 7th? Looks like this is where the little battle is for now, so let's stick with this. So, Unforgiven then, still holding on in 8th. The battle up front is still as it was with Paul and Jerry in front of these. So Molson, a good, good drive out there, did Molson. Now can he get, him, get himself on the back of Unforgiven for this next left-hander? Looks like he's got him, you know. He's going to pull out now. He has. He does get up there. Can he hold it, though? Can he hold it there? I think he has, you know. Oh, I don't know, though. Unforgiven, no. Unforgiven still there. Oh, well, was on the dirt. He's, he's trying to get through, but there's nowhere for him to go. He's, he's got Molson on the left of him and Unforgiven on the right of him and... Where the hell's he meant to go? But anyway, good driving. Look at oh, and he gets through again. Does Rodders gets up the inside of Molson? Ever the opportunist is uh, Rodders gets himself up there, and Unforgiven goes wide, and Unforgiven makes a little error. So now Molson back to ninth. Unforgiven recovers well though, but he did drop back a couple of places there. Gets himself back to tenth. We've got Dan Bailey and Vexman. Eleventh, twelfth, and. Pablo in 13th. So yeah, it's quite, uh, quite settled back there. Again, Pablo not having the best uh, best race here tonight. So Chuck has got himself up to the lead. So Chuck has got himself to the lead. So Chan has dropped back. Not too sure whether he made a mistake there. He must have, I think, because I know Ch uh, Chuck was chasing him down and was gaining on him, but he's lost quite a lot of time there as Chan. So he was tyres are going off or he made a mistake, I fancy he might have made a little mistake there for Chuck to uh, be that far in front of him because he really is pulling off now Chuck but remember he's still got to stop so it be interesting to see where Wadru and Too Fast For Use ends up here we'll stick with Chuck for the second just to see if he does decide to dive in with what come up to 17 minutes of the race left so not long at all Got to race 10 minutes of him at least. Yeah, he does dive in just as I thought he might do because there's not that many minutes left. So, Chuck in. Chan's not though, he's going to have another another lap of that. So, Chan takes up the lead again. So, Chuck in at the moment. Wadru in third. Comes around the final bend now. So, Wadru's going to take second off of Chuck. There he is. So, Wadru now up to second. Too fast for use down in fourth. Thomas closing in now on too fast for use. Looks like he's uh, looks like he's gaining on him. Jerry in sixth. He's got past Paul, so Jerry's got up into sixth place. So not sure where he got past him, but he's got there. He's got himself in the sixth with Paul now in the seventh. Rod is in eighth, chasing him down with Molson unforgiven, so they're the same as they were. Oh no, who's that gone off? That's Jerry has gone off, so Paul takes sixth off him again. Jerry ran wide there. So back to seventh is Jerry, and it's going to put him right into the, uh, the clutches of these three now. So Rod is unforgiven, has got himself up to ninth, so Molson's dropped down to tenth. So Rod is going to be looking at Jerry now. And they all are unforgiven, having a look up the inside. Has unforgiven got Rod is? No, not quite. So Rod is now. Oh, and they've gone run wide, the other two behind them, Unforgiven and Molson. 
not forgiven. Lighting up his tyres, smoke going everywhere. Didn't quite make it there, but Rod is now trying to hunt down Jerry. Chan comes into the pits now, so Chan's coming in for his stop. Let's go on to the mediums. So Molson back to 10th then with Danny in 11th, X in 12th, Pablo 13th. So Wadru takes up the lead as he goes past Chand in the uh, in the pits. So Wadru, again, is he going to get another two out of two like he did last uh, last week? There's no reason why he shouldn't, but uh, of course, too fast for you to have a, have a say in that. Well, Chand will have a say in that as well, because obviously Chand's come out in second, but Chand is on the mediums. And uh, got to get them up to temperature too, so... You'd fancy that uh, he probably won't be catching Modru uh, unless Modru makes a, a major mistake somewhere. But anyway, too fast for use in third. He's going to fancy his chances catching Chan at the moment. Thomas still behind them in fourth. Chuck in fifth. So Chuck came out in fifth after his stop. So didn't uh, lose too many spots. So good, still in fifth place. There's some good points there still for Chuck. So he's be chasing down Thomas see if he can get, get some better, better amount of points here. Paul in sixth, still with Jerry in seventh. And there's still this three. Rodders, Unforgiven, Molson. Molson having a look at uh, Unforgiven. Oh, look at that then, great. Drive out of there, did Molson now. Right up his Jaxi now, is uh, is Molson. Has a look around the outside, he's not going to make it around the outside there, no way. I think even blocks it on the inside, they go run up a little bit wide, but that's okay out there, you won't get a penalty there, so Molson then, darts across to the right hand, side of the circuit, still remains in 10th, going to stick with this at the moment, everything else is looking pretty uh, comfortable up in front there, so nothing too exciting going on I don't think, this is certainly where the battle is. Molson 10th, so unforgiven now, really on the back of Rodders now. And they are pulling in Jerry too, so we could end up, and Paul, so Jerry has got past Paul, so has Paul made a mistake, or has Jerry just had some real pace there? Oh, this is neck and neck through here, so Jerry up in the, no, Paul gets him again, so this is swapping places. So Paul in sixth, Jerry in seventh, Jerry's gonna get him again, no. And then right off the back of these, here come the rest of them. What a battle this is. So Jerry, Paul, sorry, on the outside of Jerry. Does he still remain in six, I think? He does, yeah. So then Rodders up behind these and unforgiven with Molson, just not far off the back of these two. So what we got? We got, what, five cars in this? I'm definitely going to stick with this because uh, this is definitely where the battle is. So Paul heading it up at the moment. Jerry seventh, Rodders in eighth. Right up Jerry now, and Unforgiven and Molson. Right up behind them two. This is going to be fun coming up here. Paul goes a little bit wide, but okay there. So that might give Jerry a little bit of a chance. No, not quite far enough. Paul Rodders has a look down Jerry. Does he get there? Oh, and he has a look at Paul, actually. Then we just slowed down. Oh, so he must have tagged Paul, so... Well done there, Rodders there. Slots back into eighth, and now he's... Uh, that loss of momentum has got Unforgiven right up his jacksie, so... Look at this boy. Jerry's only looking at Paul, and I think Jerry does get Paul. He does. So Jerry's up to sixth. Oh, Molson having a look on Unforgiven. Does he get down? Molson gets up there, does he? He does. No, he doesn't, because Unforgiven's got the inside line now. What a battle. This is great tonight. Absolutely fantastic stuff. Rodders now just putting a little bit off of Unforgiven, so Molson and Unforgiven fighting and allowed Rodders to just clear off a little bit. Not much as you can see, but there's that small gap, a couple of car lengths. Oh, Paul runs wide again. So now Rodders is going to be right on him. So can Rodders get past Paul? Jerry's just starting to uh, get away in sixth. Rodders un putting the pile on the pressure onto the back of Paul now. As we're into the last 10 minutes of the race, this, for, uh, this second and final race tonight. Oh, 
Molson got the inside of uh, Unforgiven, I think. He did, so Molson up to ninth. What a battle here for these two. Now Molson up the inside. He's got him. I think Molson's got him. He, oh, sorry, I should say Unforgiven is going to have a look because, yes, he does. What a great switch paint. Unforgiven up in the ninth. Good move. Great move. So Molson back to 10th. Pulls out again, out of the draft. Look for the inside up here. Turn one. Does get there. Clean move. Nice move from Molson. Unforgiven's fighting back and he's right up the inside again. Coming into this chicane. Does get there. So what a battle this is too. Battles everywhere. Great race. This is fantastic. I hope you're enjoying this. Watching this. So... This is the place to be this channel for fantastic racing. Fantastic drivers. Fantastic championships. Fantastic everything, in fact. So keep tuning in. Keep subscri uh, sub subscribing, that's easy for me to say. And uh, enjoy. That's all I've got to say. So anyway, motion holding off Unforgiven then. Rodder's just pulled off the back a little bit. He's sort of on his own slightly now. Um, got in front of Unforgiven, but just pulling off the back of Paul and Jerry now. But Paul just can't get past Jerry at all. Really holding him off there, so good driving from Jerry. Then we've got uh, Chuck in, in fifth still. Chan's come in now. Well, and in fact, Chan's already been in, hasn't he? I'm not too sure what's happened there, but Chan is in. He's in the pits, it says, but can't see him. Anyway, Chuck's up to four. Too fast for He's right now back on the, on the back of uh, Thomas. So let's see what happens here then. So oh, too fast for you. chasing down Thomas. Wadrew's cleared off up front. So looks like Wadrew could be getting his second win of the, uh, of the evening. Too fast for you. Trying his utmost to get on the back of Thomas. Thomas is not an easy person to catch or pass. Well, none of them are, to be fair, but Thomas is uh, another real good, experienced driver, so he knows exactly what he's doing. Knows how to defend, knows how to attack. At the moment, he's doing well, good, doing a good job, keeping off too fast for use. Meanwhile, up front, and probably got time to read a book, I should think, is Wadrew. He might pull over and read one in a minute, maybe have a, maybe have a quick sandwich too, who knows, but... Uh, yeah, he's got such as the uh, the gap that he's got now. He might as well be reading the book, but anyway. Wadger in first, Thomas second. Too fast for use in third, Chuck in fourth. Jerry in fifth, still being chased by Paul. Rod is in seventh. Oh, Ice has got to come out, so he was in the pits, come out in eighth. So between Rodders and Molson. And this battle's still going on between Molson and Unforgiven. And Unforgiven's got past him actually, so Unforgiven up to ninth. Molson back to 10th now. Molson will try to fight back, but he's too far back there. He's not going to make that. So come through the final bend to start lap 18. And we've got, what, probably three minutes left of this race now. And we've got Dan in 11th. Vexman in 12th. Pablo being lapped again, I think, in 13th years, yeah, so. Second place man Thomas has gone past him, Wadrew in front. So Thomas in second. Two fast for use, and then we've got Chuck. Jerry and Paul still battling it out in fifth and sixth. Paul having a look now, can you get him on the outside, Jerry? He's not going to get him on the outside, there's no way you're going around the outside here, but he might get the switch back if he can get the good. He yeah, tries to cut back, but Jerry does well, keep it there on track. Keeps in there, but Paul's up the inside as he can Paul get him up here on the left hander. He does. Not sure he's got there though. Jerry, oh, does well. Thought he was going to run wide there, but he didn't. All oh, gets himself on the dirt a little bit. Paul's still up the inside. I think he does get there. Paul does. Great race. Oh, great racing between them two. Absolutely superb racing. But Jerry's still on him. Yeah, great racing. So fifth and sixth then, that's them sorted, and uh, with Rodders and Chan chasing down Rodders in, in eighth. Unforgiven, he's not giving up. So 
Back out front then, we've got Wadru. With, quite frankly, a ridiculous lead. But, I say ridiculous, he worked his strategy right and uh, got in. Got, the, uh, got out in time and it worked a treat in the end. So Wadru, another great race tonight. So I must think he's going to hang on for another second. I don't think too fast for you. She's going to catch him it's too far back. So it could be another second place for Thomas, which is good points for him. Too fast for you. Good third, I think, for too fast for you. Because I think Chuck's going to catch him either. So the front four are about the same, really, in terms of uh, the gaps. Paul in fifth still, Jerry in sixth. Follow the truck around this for his right handers. One, two, three. There's about three or four around now. So they come across to complete lap 19. Just going to start lap 20 now. This will be the final lap. Let's just go back and see what's happening a bit, bit further down the pack. Rodders in sixth, yeah, so we've got Ice still chasing down Unforgiven in, uh, in eighth. In fact, they finished the race, so let's go back to the leader. They don't get another lap in, the time's run out for those lot, so... Rodrew. Might as well sit with Rodrew now and see, because they've all finished, everyone else is finished. It's just the top three that's going around... Uh, final lap and we know that uh, they are as they are they're not going to be uh, changing positions I don't believe so Wadru will get the victory and in fact started from the back of the, the grid obviously being reverse grid and obviously winning the first race he was at the back so to get another victory from the back of the grid as well is a, is a great result. So congratulations, Rodrew. We've got Thomas in second, Too Fast for Use in third, Chuck in fourth, Paul in fifth, Jerry sixth, Rodder seventh, Unforgiven eighth, Ice in ninth, Molson tenth, Dan in eleventh, Bex in twelfth, Pablo in thirteenth. So that's the racing there tonight, boys and girls, and I hope you enjoyed that, and uh, I'll see you again for the, the next round. Bye-bye for now.